Hello, and welcome to An Artist Speaks. Today, our guest is Superna Sane, and she is an artist on Contemporary Art Gallery Online. And this program is sponsored by Contemporary Art Gallery Online. So, hello, Superna, and tell us, let's start off with telling us a little bit about yourself. Hi, Mike, how are you? Great. So yeah, thank you for you know having me here with Contemporary Art Gallery Online, and uh, I am an artist based here in Los Angeles, California. Uh, I originally I grew up in India, and I moved to LA around 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. So I did all my schooling in in India, in the northern part of India, and no matter how much I I dreamt of going to an art school, I did not really get an opportunity or did not get a chance in life to attend an art school. And I pursued art on my own. So I'm basically a self-taught artist. I started drawing and sketching when I was very young, when I was like five years old in kindergarten, first grade, I remember sitting in my class and, and just sketching. I would make like, you know, these sketches of my friends, of my teachers and got into trouble multiple times where, you know, I was actually, I was taken to the principal's office because I was sitting in class <laughs> and sketching. <laughs> but overall, you know, my teachers, my principal, my friends, my family, everybody encouraged me a lot. My dad was my biggest fan. He he was so proud of my drawings and I would make these greeting cards and send it, those out to relatives and seeing my, you know, seeing how interested I was in drawing and sketching, my mom looked around, she found this art teacher for me who, who was an oil painter, you know, worked in oils. So he started teaching me oil painting and that time I was 10 years old. I was super excited. My dad actually built an easel for me. He was an engineer, so he built this wooden easel on his own. And uh, I started oil painting. So we made this scenery, you know, it was a landscape painting, my first one that I did with, with my mentor and um, got a pretty good idea about layering, about, you know, different techniques being used in oils. And then another one I did was a painting that was originally made by Sandra Cook. It was a painting of a little girl on the piano. So I made that one. And then once I did that, I was, uh, my, my teacher comes to me and he's like, okay, I'm gonna give the finishing touches. And when he started touching the painting, I kind of, I was like, no, no, don't touch it. I like the way I did it. So after that, he was like, okay, she doesn't really need a teacher or a mentor. She, she knows the technique, she can take it, you know, on her own from there. So after that, I played around with, with all different styles in oil painting and I kept, kept, you know, I stayed with it, even though I was like, you know, in high school, went to high school, did not go to an art school for college. There was not really any any art college close to where I lived. So I went on to um, graduate in psychology at that time. I kept entering any art contests that would take place locally. So there was one um, close to where my dad worked and he signed me up and he like, you know, put all my paintings and that at that time I used to paint on, on, on board, on wooden boards. I, you know, I would put white enamel on them and create my own, basically my own painting surfaces because canvas at that time in India was really expensive. So my paintings were large. They were like four feet by six feet. And they, it's not like you can wrap them up. <laughs> so my dad, you know, all proud, he, he puts them, he transports them to the art contest. And then I end up winning the first prize there, which, you know, was a huge encouragement. So after that, I kept on entering, you know, any art contest through my college, through my, you know, any that took place in the city where I lived. Uh, so later, you know, I got married, I came to US and uh, I came to Los Angeles. So over here also, I thought, okay, maybe I'm gonna go to art school. But, you know, it was again, it was like, you know, you're starting a family, you need money and going to an art school, you know, I was in that situation where, hey, no, I'm just gonna, you know, get into technology. So I got my degree in computer science and I started to work in technology. I did not get much time to paint, but I did not give it up either. So I used to, 
I continued making the painting, at least, you know, I would start it and it could take me five to six months to complete one painting, but I kept doing it, I stayed at it. So once my kids grew up, they became independent, they're in high, you know, they were in high school, I started doing it more and more. You know, all my weekends, whenever I got time, I, I would paint. So a few years ago, when you know I started getting more time because my kids went off to college, I thought, okay, you know, I've I've been doing oil painting, I've been doing sketching, and my sketching was more with just pencils, just lead. I wanted to try out acrylic painting, so I did that. I you know I bought myself acrylic paints, and um, this one that you see behind me over there, this girl with the cello, this is in acrylics, and I wanted to pursue some different styles, come up with my own original styles where I want. I really admire, you know, where I, I, initially I wasn't a huge fan of abstracts, but then I wanted to, you know, slowly I kind of started getting very, you know, I was really impressed by the artists who are doing it with the hidden meaning or what, you know, I, I always wondered what's going through their head, you know, when they're painting this, what is, what is hidden in there? So I wanted to kind of mix this realism and give it that, that you know, some abstract st style in the background. So, you know, I started playing around with this technique, which I, you know, I did quite a few of these paintings like that. And yeah, so in the past few years, I've been trying out various techniques, uh, not just various styles, but also various techniques where I mix acrylics and then I do oils over them sometimes and there are times I do watercolor and then I top it off with some oil to give it a certain special effect. I'm also a huge fan of textures so I sometimes make my own texture paste and I give it you know I put texture before I start painting on it and sometimes I even use tissue paper so it's the it's it's like tissue, I just glue it and crumple it, glue it, and you know, and then I paint over it. So I have some of my art with that, which is, it's interesting. It's really fun where you, the colors of the various tissue, they, they show through the paint. You know, if you give it a transparent uh, color on it, it's it's really interesting. The, the And it's, it's, I myself as an artist, I'm always curious of how it's gonna look. So yeah, so that's how, you know, this is my studio right here. And I currently live in Calabasas. I've been living here for the last 16 years and um, I just love spending time painting. And you know, yeah. Well, your paintings are very beautiful. Thank, Thank you for you. sharing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, let me ask you if you, you have a favorite artist and if so if you could visit with them what would you ask them sure so you know i have a lot of favorite artists and i would love to meet monet if it was you know, <laughs> but that's not possible but yes from the someone i could meet would be robert hagen so he's an australian artist and i just love his art his art is the colors that he uses it's you know first of all the themes he's you know his paintings are are very you know that it's the romanticism it's the figures that he paints and it's not just the figures it's the backgrounds the beautiful sceneries and then the figures it's a combination which i really admire and then the colors that he's using his palette is just beautiful it's not it's so many different colors, it's hard to tell. So I'm like, I would love to learn his technique. I know he teaches, so he's been teaching for years. If it would be a dream come true, if I could actually go sit through a few of his classes and actually learn how he does that. And it's, um, he's an amazing artist, yeah. Yes, he is. Well, Soprana, I wanna thank you for being on the show today. Thank and. Encourage, you're welcome. I want to encourage all the uh, viewers to check out Stepana's art, and you can find her at Contemporary Art Gallery online. And her name is Stepana, S-U-P-A-R-N-A, 
last name S-A-I-N. Just type it in the search box and look at her beautiful art. Thank you again for being on An Artist Speaks, and we'll see you in the next show. Thank you. Okay.